Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host Ruffles11 and today I'm gonna teach you how to cheat in Mountain Blade Warband. Before starting your game, you have to open the configure menu in the launcher by clicking on it and then a menu will appear and in this menu you have the options game video audio advanced and in the game section you have to enable cheats which is done by clicking on a box and ticking this box with a little hook once you've done this you will have to press OK. Nothing else, just press OK. And then you're settled. Then you can start Mountain Blade Warband with cheats activated. It doesn't matter if you start a new game or load a game. You can load a game you already started and saved without any problems and cheat within this. I think the two most important sheets that new players might be interested in are the money sheet and the health sheet. And I will show you how to do this. To get money, you open the inventory or go to a market. It has to be something that opens this kind of inventory this year. In theory, you could even talk to a companion and open the change equipment inventory. It doesn't matter, as long as it is this kind of menu. And then you hold down control, left control, and press X and have a look at this count here, at my money count. You see, it went up by a thousand. Continue holding control and press X again. It went up again by a thousand. Let's spam this a little bit. And you see, within a few seconds of clicking, I got several thousand dinars. And this is how I get my money. The second sheet you might be interested in is the healing sheet. To heal, you have to participate physically in a battle, which means you have to charge the enemy, not order your troops. You have to charge him, because now we're physically on this map. And then you just pray Control H. H like healing, Control Heal. You'll see what this does in a minute when I get hit. Come on, hit me, baby. Ah, they only hit my horse. Which is no problem, you can heal your horse as well. To heal your horse you have to press Ctrl, Shift, which zooms in, and then H. So I press now Ctrl H, and you see my health bar goes up. Another quite important cheat that many players like to use, for example to perfect a build is the experience cheat. Just press C or go to character. And as you can cheat money, you can also cheat experience. Just press Ctrl and X and you see I got a thousand more XP. So now I leveled up. And I can use my skill points for example, to level up my intelligence, um, my attribute points, I'm sorry, to level up my intelligence. This will give me lots of skill points and this allows me uh, to improve several things like, let's say I want more health. And I need better prisoner management. I need better pathfinding. Pathfinding is always important, as I said. No matter your army size, it will make you really fast on the long run. And if you're alone or have only horse troops in your party, with some points, actually just one or two in pathfinding, you're nearly 
the fastest thing on the map. You move nearly with light speed. The last cheat I want to show you, because this cheat is quite difficult to access, but although it seems quite invasive in the game, it is not invasive at all. You don't risk anything, you don't risk confusing the game, you don't risk messing up your save file. Although it looks quite invasive what I'm going to do. We will have to access the cheat menu. How do we access the cheat menu? We access the cheat menu through the camp menu. Right now, there is no cheat menu, as you can see. No matter what I choose, well, this will only make me wait, there is no cheat menu. But I can activate the cheat menu if the cheats are activated in the configurations, what we did. Obviously, if not, we couldn't cheat. So. You open this command line. You open it by pressing shift and depending on your keyboard it's tilt or the this little circle behind the Celsius temperature. You know it's it's this little circle. It's on the left side of the keyboard underneath escape but above of tabulator. Okay? This is the key we have to hit. So you hit this key in combination with holding down shift. And then you enter cheat menu. Press enter. Then you open the count menu and you see there is the cheat menu option and even other options such as modify your banner or walk around. What we need, or I think what everybody needs, is find an item. Increasing player renown, player honor can come in handy too if you want to build a kingdom fast. Or want to skip some questing. If you want to skip some questing you will lose lots of renown a bit of honor and you will have the same effect in the end. People will like you, people will want you to become their mercenary, the wassel, the champion, the marshal, and enables you to become king more easily. But what we are more interested in is finding an item, because what is a king without mighty weapons and mighty armor? Nothing, isn't he? When you first open this find item menu, this is what you will get. You will get ranges of items. This sounds pretty abstract, but it's like pages in a book. You will see what I mean in a minute. To choose an item, you click on this, and voila, you get a sort of trait menu. But in the straight menu there is stuff that is not as easy to access in the game. For example, practice stuff. <coughs> Tournament or arena clothing. The books. Finding a book match on a tavern is pretty hard, but here you can buy the books you want. And with the money cheat, with the money cheat, all these books could be ours with all the pretty, pretty bonuses, such as surgery, trainer, or wound treatment, or by reading them. Also, you could fight here pretty rare bears, such as spice. To turn the page, you have to move to next item range. Now we will see any item from 69 to 191 because these items have numbers. Again, we have pretty rare bears such as Rustlk and Velvet. Food. If your party is hungry, you could buy it here. You don't have to go to the next town to give them some pork or butter. Nothing, Nothing's better than butter, isn't it? Pure butter without bread. Ah, oh, I'm kidding. <coughs> 
You could buy quite good horses. They're not the best horses because the best horses are spirited, but they are acceptable. They have no downsides. They're neither neither swayback nor are they sumter or something. They are just basic horses. Which can come in handy if your horse got hit too much and is lame. Now we are getting to the interesting part, the armor. To get a piece of armor you want, you just drag and drop it. And you must pay the sum, which is, again, no problem for us. I mean, we have... 80,000 dinars. <laughs> Who cares about money, right? <coughs> Let's say I want this armor too. Let's skip a page. Ah, yeah, the helmet I got. Nice. And even the strongest helmets are here, which are those three. This one isn't even available in the base game, you have to actually cheat to cheat to get him the Black Knight helmet. And the Black Knight armor in general, everything that is black is not included in the base game. But with the cheat menu we still can get this armor and become a Dark King, a Dark Lord, a Black Mercenary, whatever we want to be. And now we are starting to get to the weapons. The interesting weapons come on this page, 384 to 479. Because now we get daggers, shimitars, one-handed weapons, but also two-handed pole arms and stuff. Now the good stuff is coming. And I'm sorry, yeah, if you over skip the page you wanted to keep get to, you just move again to the next page and you start by zero and move again to the page you wanted to go to. For example this one, if you want to get a nice shield. But I don't need this shield. As you see now we're getting to the very interesting stuff. Samurai armor, a pistol and samurai swords. Or they're actually really, really good stuff. <laughs> it's the bridal dress. In my opinion, it looks especially good on men. <laughs> but it looks pretty on women as well. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. And here you can find, on the last page, two other horses which are pretty interesting, pretty rare, pretty heavy, but still fast. The Serenade War Horse, which is used by the Mamluk troops, and the Step Charger, which is used by Vigia troops and noblemen of the Kyrgyz as well. close this menu, you have to press again shift and tilt or the button, the key, which name I, doesn't, I do not know, which is this key above escape, above of tab, I uh, know, beneath escape, above of tab and left of number one, you will find it, it's this one key, no cheat menu. The no is important to close it. Then you press enter. And you see the cheat menu is gone. So, of course there are more cheats, but they come with a certain risk. For example, auto leveling cheats. They totally skip the leveling process and just set your level on a pretty high number are not recommendable from my perspective because your enemies actually scale with this level 
but your actual skills and of most importantly your weapon proficiency which determines the damage you do against those high level enemies do not scale with these level cheats. To be honest I don't even recommend to use the XP cheat too often because using the XP cheat too often will cause a weird difference between your actual proficiency in weapons your experience and your level which makes it harder in the long run to beat enemies of level let's say for cheating purposes let's say level 15 enemies level 15 enemies will be harder for me to fight because yes I can spend some points in my favorite proficiencies but it's not as much points as I would have got if I fought with my weapon and leveled up normally by gaining XP because then I would have like, I don't know, 75 points, 100 points maybe, maybe even more depending on how many people are killed and lacking 25 to 50 points is a quite huge trade-off and a quite huge game-changer in your disadvantage. If you want to look up more cheats, you should search them on the internet. There are plenty of sites that tell you about cheats. There is even an official official Mountain Blade Warband wiki, which lists all the cheats possible, but again, I don't recommend using cheats I didn't show you here, because the cheats I showed you are quite safe and don't corrupt your game sa uh, save game. Actually, they don't even corrupt your game files. They just help you to access in a player-friendly way things that are already in the game. Other cheats might not be so kind to your game files and mess them up. Just a warning. Have a nice day, goodbye. And I hope you enjoyed Mind and Late Warband as much as I did today.